I remember my first day at school very well. I knew the school quite well because my older sister Sandy went there. And every day, Dad and I met her at the school gate after school. Every day, she ran out of the school with her friends. She often carried a painting. I felt jealous. I wanted to paint too. I was five years old when I started school. Most children in my class started school in September. But I started school in January, when I was five years old. Because my birthday is in December. Three other kids started school on the same day as me. I was excited about my first day. I had my new uniform, a black skirt, a white t-shirt and green jumper, and a new red bag. When we arrived that day, a teacher met the new children at the school gate. Dad hugged me and said goodbye. I stood with the other children. I didn't talk to them because I was too nervous. Then, Mrs. Wilson took us to our classroom. All the other children were already there. They looked at us when we entered the room. When thirty children looked at me, I started to cry. But I wasn't upset for long. I sat with the other children on the carpet and the class teacher, Miss Holland, read us a story. Later, we drew pictures with colored pencils, and at break time, I made friends with a girl called Megan. At the end of the day, I ran to the school gate with Megan and my picture, just like Sandy always did. I remember my first day at school very well. I knew the school quite well because my older sister Sandy went there. And every day, Dad and I met her at the school gate after school. Every day, she ran out of the school with her friends. She often carried a painting. I felt jealous. I wanted to paint too. I was five years old when I started school. Most children in my class started school in September. But I started school in January, when I was five years old. Because my birthday is in December. Three other kids started school on the same day as me. I was excited about my first day. I had my new uniform, a black skirt, a white t-shirt and green jumper, and a new red bag.
When we arrived that day, a teacher met the new children at the school gate. Dad hugged me and said goodbye. I stood with the other children. I didn't talk to them because I was too nervous. Then, Mrs. Wilson took us to our classroom. All the other children were already there. They looked at us when we entered the room. When 30 children looked at me, I started to cry. But I wasn't upset for long. I sat with the other children on the carpet and the class teacher, Miss Holland, read us a story. Later, we drew pictures with colored pencils, and at break time, I made friends with a girl called Megan. At the end of the day, I ran to the school gate with Megan and my picture, just like Sandy always did. My neighborhood is very peaceful and quiet. It is a new neighborhood, and there are a lot of big houses and some apartment buildings. The streets are very clean, and there aren't many cars. My school is near my house. I can walk there in 10 minutes. There's also a park which has a small playground for children and a large field. I like to play baseball there with my friends after school. All of the houses have a small front yard but big backyards. Most of my neighbors have a swimming pool, and some even have a trampoline. Everyone has a flower garden, and in the spring, it is very beautiful. My road is called Maple Road. It is not in the city. It's in the suburbs. There aren't any restaurants, bars or cinemas on my road. But, if you go to Main Street, you can find a lot of things to do. I like my neighborhood because it is very safe. There is no crime, and all of my neighbors take care of each other. The police station is next to the school, which is very nice. However, the hospital is quite far. It is in the city, and we have to drive 30 minutes to get there. My friends live near me, and we often meet up to play or just talk. We love playing hockey in the street because there isn't any traffic. I think I am lucky to live in my neighborhood. My neighborhood is very peaceful and quiet. It is a new neighborhood, 
and there are a lot of big houses and some apartment buildings. The streets are very clean, and there aren't many cars. My school is near my house. I can walk there in 10 minutes. There's also a park, which has a small playground for children and a large field. I like to play baseball there with my friends after school. All of the houses have a small front yard but big backyards. Most of my neighbors have a swimming pool, and some even have a trampoline. Everyone has a flower garden, and in the spring, it is very beautiful. My road is called Maple Road. It is not in the city. It's in the suburbs. There aren't any restaurants bars or cinemas on my road. But, if you go to Main Street, you can find a lot of things to do. I like my neighborhood because it is very safe. There is no crime and all of my neighbors take care of each other. The police station is next to the school, which is very nice. However, the hospital is quite far. It is in the city, and we have to drive 30 minutes to get there. My friends live near me, and we often meet up to play or just talk. We love playing hockey in the street because there isn't any traffic. I think I am lucky to live in my neighborhood.